say, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the What's up, y'all? It's Elena, and I'm going to be reacting to American Horror Story Season 12, Episode 5. Last episode, we seen a little flashback of these women who, I guess, make deals with certain people. And one of the people they made a deal with was a queen, and she promised them to give them her baby. And now I'm thinking that's what Anna did, or somebody close to her did. They promised them a baby, and that's why they're messing with her, and that's why all this demonic stuff is happening. But yeah, y'all, it's getting real weird now. Like she was eating a dead animal and everybody around her just seemed weird. Like I just feel like she's getting set up or she set herself up. I honestly don't know what's going on still. All I know is, is that this season is good and I really enjoy the season. So um, yeah, if y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. <laughs> We are all just a little for you. Thank you so much. Okay, so best based on her hairstyle, this is a flashback, maybe. I won't leave. I think this baby will inspire me to do my best work. We can't wait to see what comes next, yeah? You are among the finest young designers we have. I'm so See, and now she probably made a deal, too. But darling, where is your family? You mean the baby's father? Stuck in traffic? <gasps> Where are you taking me? <sighs> what are you going to do? We already told you. It hurts! You're having a fucking baby. Of course it hurts. <sighs> well, damn, we already know you're not the real nurse. Oh! See, that's what I'm saying. They set her up, because why is this doctor her doctor in the 80s? Come on out. Do you understand the procedure you'll be undergoing today? I, I don't think I... Well, you made an agreement that cannot be reneged. Now, push! Yeah! Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to push a whole lot harder than that! Okay? Come on! Uh, oh, God damn it! Push! Oh God, it's gonna be a long night. This is terrifying. I can't even imagine going through this. Push, push, push. He's drowning. So what exactly would it entail? Just telling the jury what you saw. I didn't see anything, Mom. She gave birth to a spirit. A to witness. I just don't want you to come out of this looking crazy. Everyone already treats me like I'm crazy. Maybe because you are. Do. This isn't a lark, darling. You're gonna regret not believing me. Oh my God, are those some crumbs? Oh, yeah, they're, you know, from that. I thought they were only sold in two drops a day, one per customer. Yeah, I actually... May I? Know that. Girl, you are rude. Mm. I really shouldn't. I want to stay a sample size. <laughs> and then you're going to put it back? Oh, so sorry. I have to take this. It's Lord Michaels. She goes to put her herpes on her desserts. It's rude. What the fuck was Babette doing here? Please don't talk disrespectfully about one of my other clients. Siobhan, she's in my category. I don't have a non-compete clause. Oh, come on, you're, you're my best friend. We're also work colleagues. We have to maintain boundaries, and this is one you don't want to cross. Okay. Wow. I mean... Okay, well, I brought you these overpriced, stupid pastries to say thank you. And I sincerely appreciate it. Are you punishing me because I got pregnant? Wow. Paranoid much? But you are acting cold Relax. right now. You're out of the red. Wait, I have something for you. you. Gotta keep your energy up. It's award season. Oh. 
everybody's against her or using her. Got her drinking blood. I think. Yeah, it's hard to preach. Maybe she knows a little something. But look both ways. Look both ways. Girl, you gotta look both ways. Okay. Wait, what? You did a very brave thing just now, Ms. Harding. Thank you, Luther. I'm so grateful for your support and guidance. Was well, that her who disappeared from the picture? Who disappeared from the from picture? Many other women just <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me brace myself. <laughs> I don't I can't do the black goats. I can't do it. What y'all want? Why y'all mess with her? You made a deal. Ooh. I need to talk to you. About what? Man. Ever since I was a child, I wanted to be a designer. Oh, is that the girl the from the flashback in the beginning? I didn't even get a chance to graduate. I was scooped up. She got the hair? Okay, hold on. And Saint Laurent. They dubbed me protege. Your son is in great danger. And so is his wife. They've been coming for your family for a long time. What? Why? They are angry at him. One of their most powerful players defected because she fell in love with him. Adelon. Oh. Lower your voice. They're everywhere. Believe me. Ooh. I'm so grateful you could get up here, Dr. Hill. Oh, well, not something I would normally do, but given the specificity <laughs> of your get juicy. Okay. Mm. Oh, she's bleeding too. Is that supposed to be a voodoo doll or something? Yeah, this is a lot. I'm so sorry. Mm. I know I'm way too early. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. <laughs> I just I forget how close everything is out here. Yeah. I'm just mm -hmm. getting situated. <laughs> Fab. Oh. Great light. Are you alright? Miss Chalkross, can I grab your jacket? Oh, thank you so much. Sure. Oh, maybe. I don't know why she was looking at you like that. She was probably just taken aback by my stunning beauty. Oh, girl. <laughs> Some baby gifts. Oh, you, mm. you did not mm. have to do that. <laughs> Please. Babies are the only people who deserve gifts. Dex told me what's been happening to you. He Why is he telling you this? Ugh. I actually thought that you were following me at one point. <laughs> I, I know that sounds crazy. I just, I saw someone wearing those 
green heels you had on at the gallery? Oh God, I never wear green. I know the color washes me out terribly, even on my feet. I must be misremembering. You was wearing them shoes. We all saw you in them shoes. Now you never wore them shoes? Oh, like, Come on now. If only just for the rest of the meal. Is she wearing earring ears? I mean, 30, ear 30, earrings, 30, I mean? Tell me? tell me the truth. About what? That film script you gave me just over a year ago. The one you told me to put my name on and direct without any other information whatsoever. Including who wrote it and how you got your hands on it. That film, which everyone told me, including my own agents, would go absolutely nowhere, especially if I cast Anna Victoria Alcott, who you insisted upon, is now a frontline awards contender and has been nominated for no less than 11 Golden Globes. And who the hell are you? I was determined. Now you're asking all the right questions. I decided the first time my mum hit me, I was never going to waste any of it. Your mum hit you? Almost every day. Well, she was borderline or bipolar. Both. Who knows? You know, women weren't diagnosed in those days. They just screamed behind doors. I'm grateful for everything she put me through. Landed me here. She got that mm -hmm. shit on her chin, too. Oh. Bloody hell, she looks just like me. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. But as a carefree blonde, with eyebrows, no facial piercings. Did Dex say the same thing? Sorry, hey. God, I'm, I can only imagine the amount of I'm sorry, I think you are her. No. Okay, you have to be gentle with yourself. Okay. Don't touch me. I mean, don't touch her. Weirdo. Call me if you need any help. My hotel's 15 minutes away. Why? How do you know Sonia? I don't. Mm -hmm. You knew her last name. Because Mr. Harding told me. Don't, don't call him that. And you don't need to call me Miss Alcott either. Miss Baldwin likes us too. But I don't. I'm only comfortable doing what Miss Baldwin asks. You were looking at her like you knew her. She just looks so much like an old friend of mine. Adeline. Who's Adeline? You opened my gift? Well, I couldn't resist. Excuse me? Don't open my stuff without my permission. And then he just said, well, I couldn't resist. Like, it was nothing. Like, okay, what you gonna do about it? Girl, I would slap the fuck out of you. Don't play with me. And don't play with her either. You look like she's pregnant. I had no idea. That's so crazy. How long have you guys lived here? Oh, Why are you so happy? Seniors? That long? I always forget he's older. He looks good. Do I know you? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and I've... Been here since we got engaged. I don't, know, I don't like people everything? that's that happy. Like, you're weird. Oh, oh, well, we can certainly do external pelvic massage as well. This may be happy, but the facial expressions is like. It really helps if I have access internally. Mm. Up to you. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I ain't feeling it. I don't like her. Sign this consent form for me. What is all this? Just standard practice. <laughs> Read it. Your left pubococcygeus needs releasing too. One moment. Okay. I, wa I want you to stop. Just one moment. She said you, you she wants you to stop. I, I, I'm not. I'm not really sure about this. Just one moment. Okay. I, I, I want you. I want you to stop. It's almost released. Get your fingers out of me. Not everyone's ready for the deeper work. 
I know you're upset that you can't go to the Golden Globes. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Huh? You thought you could bury your grief about your beautiful dead wife by marrying me? No. Thought I'd be your cute little prop? I mean, what century do you think it is, Dex? And what exactly are you offering me? I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, Anna. Admit it. I'm not having an affair. I know that. I mean, admit that you think I'm crazy. Just admit that you think I've made everything up. That you think there was never a stalker in our apartment. That you think I wrote on the mirror and called the cops to get attention or some dumb shit. That I made up the fake nurse? That I planted the fucking dolls? Yes! Mm. Okay. Of course! Yes! I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. What Woo. else am I supposed to think, Anna? None of it makes any sense. It doesn't. But that's your wife, though. I love you. I love you. But... This, this, this isn't love. This is I would have believed this her. You... I need you to believe me. I don't know if I can do that. This is this your... This the father of your child. <laughs> you know what? That's the problem. That's the problem right there. I'm gonna watch the Globes. You coming? Just getting knocked up by anybody. I'm just playing. <laughs> watch this it is my great honor to present this year's golden globe award oh i see making the dolls watch it too motion picture drama and the award goes to babette Eno. daddy do you love me my fellow nominees thank you for paving the way for me and a victoria <coughs> alcohol <coughs> Oh, please, I don't want to see puke. Oh. The hell? <coughs> what is that? Are those teeth or claws? Go through that door. <laughs> but she gonna go through that door because that's just what she does. Do you want an Oscar? You know I do. Do you want it as much as a baby? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever I say to get it? Yes. Good. I'll call you in the morning. <gasps> What's wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa. They really killed that young lady. Oh my god. She just won an award. So, Siobhan is. I'm. Listen, I think Siobhan is working with them people, okay? She's definitely working with those people. Why they killed that girl like that? She got decapitated in a car crash, allegedly. We know what really happened. Y'all killed that girl. First of all. Now, okay, now we know that Siobhan is the um, reason why Anna is, even got this, um, the clout that she got. She gave that man that script, told him to cast her, and that's how she became big and famous like this. 
well she was famous before but like now she's like real famous now so she has to be working with the people because she even asked like do you want the oscar more than you want a baby why would she ask her friend that oh yeah we know that preach um she had some dealings with them too she said that they were in danger including the husband sounds like the husband's a part of it but maybe he is but the way he was acting he was like yo this girl is really crazy like I love you, but like you are crazy as hell, and I don't believe nothing you tell me. Um, I'm guessing Preach is that lady we seen in the beginning because of the hairstyle. She had like these finger waves, not really finger waves, but like she had that little swoop, that little Betty boot, you know. She had that going on, and she said she had a baby. She had a baby, and she was talking about being a designer. That's what she wanted to do with her life. And the lady in the beginning was talking about being a designer too. So I'm pretty sure that was her. Um. Also, the doctor was the was her doctor back then, so yeah. Apparently, he doesn't age because it was eighty seven. Now it's twenty twenty three, and he's still helping women get birth to the devil or something. Um, Javon's a terrible friend. She was so cool towards her. Like at the same time, I kind of understood what she was saying. Like you're my friend, but I also have a business. You know, I gotta do this business. But she was so mean to her. I like that. And Sonia, I'm starting to think that Sonia is Adeline. I don't think Adeline died for real. So, and then she's going to sit here in our face and tell us that she didn't wear them shoes because she don't like green. So you tell me we're blind? We're just seeing things now? Maybe that was you in them heels. We saw it. They, they zoomed in on your face. Don't play with us. Stop playing with me. Now, what's going on with... Anna's husband's mom though what's going on with her because now I feel like her storyline is very important because of that scene she had and then she talked with Preach too like what's going on why was she seeing them people and she was like you're gonna regret she told her son that he's gonna regret not believing her like her storyline has to be important and I can't wait to really dive into her storyline and what happened to her what her husband did to her but yeah it's getting juicy it's getting real juicy. Now, I didn't like how Anna was like, she wants Oscar as much as a baby. Because, don't, come on, bro. Forget that Oscar. Have your baby. But at this point, I don't know. And who snatched her up like that? In that basement. They had red nails and they kind of look dark skinned. So, I'm trying, I think it's the lady um, who opened up her gift, which was rude. Don't be opening up people's stuff without permission. Cause you would have got slapped real quick, real quick. But whoever it was had red nails and they kind of looked dark. Oh, it might have been that girl with the curly hair too. We haven't seen her in a while, and she also knows who Sonia is. Cause she was looking at Sonia like she didn't really like her, like she knew what was up, and she wasn't really down with it. But at the same time, it might just been like, don't mess this up, don't don't blow your cover, type of look. But she definitely know her. She said she like her friend, but. Not Adeline. She don't know who Adeline is. I don't know what's going on. But I'm starting to believe that Sonya is Adeline for real. I had my speculations, but now I don't think Adeline died for real. So that's not adding up. Or maybe she does have a twin. Because she did say that she that she's the evil twin. Maybe they were twins. Maybe they were adopted. Bro. She did say that her mom was crazy. And her mom used to hit her all the time. And I'm... Pretty sure Preach said that she was in love with him too. Or it could have been another person. But I think she's the one who's in love with his um I think she's the one who's in love with Anna's husband. And maybe they were sisters and they got separated somehow. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing too much because maybe the writers wasn't even thinking like that. But if I was writing that, oh that would have been written. Okay. That would have been a good twist right there. They're related. She knows they're related because, and then I think, why would she ask if her husband, I keep forgetting his name, is his name Dex? I don't know. But why would she ask Anna, did he think that they looked alike? I don't know. And yeah, Preach was right. She was like, they're everywhere. They're always everywhere watching because that girl, that fake nurse, she was definitely in the background eating her food, listening to them talk, watching them, making sure Things ain't being said that ain't supposed to be said. But yeah, it's getting juicy. It's getting real juicy. 
But yeah, if y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye. Hey, 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 okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking it.